Uh, oh, yo, bro, that Mac is be well shocky. What? <laughs> hey, what's up, world? Like, welcome back to the channel where we explore my mind and the world. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about accents and dialects. Now, what you heard in the cold opening of this video was a combination of different words from different dialects and accents and lexicons and well what are all these words anyway the the word dialect what is it well first off i want to say that i was inspired to do this video after watching a whole bunch of youtube videos by the lang focus channel paul from lang focus is uh, excellent at uh, breaking down all these different types of languages and uh, their history and all the different types of things that have to do with accents and dialects and languages and all that good stuff, so check it out, links in the description. A dialect can be defined as being a particular type or form of a certain language that is specific to a certain region or social group. Now this can include differentiating factors like vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar. They are also sometimes referred to as regiolects, ethnolects, and sociolects for, well, obvious reasons. And they are most obviously differentiated usually from the country's official standard language. And each country can sometimes have their own official language or official standard dialect. It's just like how Canadian English and British English are both two distinct standard dialects or languages or something like that. Because what differentiates a language from a dialect? Because some languages they're so similar to each other and you wonder why they're not just considered dialects of a greater language. And other languages, like for instance Mandarin and Cantonese Chinese, are so different but they're still considered the same language tree and different dialects of the Chinese language. Well, it's often been said by many scholars that a language, the difference between that and a dialect, is that a language is essentially just a dialect with an army and a navy. And when you think about all those other languages, and all those countries with those languages, and how you hear a lot of debate between American English and British English, European Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese, is because those countries, uh, when you look at the country that first provided that language, for instance Britain, and the country that got that language, the United States, they're very similar in military strength and economic power and just influence in the world. So a dialect and language, the difference between the two is kind of fuzzy, but really if you have the amount of power that these countries do to call it a language, then you can call it a language. Now here are some synonyms and variations on the term dialect. That's right, I'm giving you a variation on the term that kind of means variation. An accent is usually characterized as a spoken version of a language that is spoken with a difference in pronunciation, but also sometimes grammar and syntax, but not always. A pidgin language is a broken basic version of a standard language. Usually it's like English or French or other colonial powers, and usually established by uh, those that are slaves and brought over to that new land and they have to understand each other very easily. A creole is essentially a pigeon that has been nativized. A patois is kind of like a dialect. It's almost exactly like a dialect, but I guess it's French-ish more? I don't know. And an idiolect is the way in which a certain person speaks. There's a lot of murky waters when you try to define dialect and language and patois and creole and all these different terms that you throw out there to try to define things, to try to put them into their categories. It's really difficult. I could make several videos just talking about this. I could make a whole channel and there probably are entire channels like Lang Focus that are dedicated to differentiating between those. But why am I even bringing this up? Why am I making this a video? The point of language, the point of speaking to one another is so that I can be understood by you and that when you speak, you can be understood by me. Now because this is a travel-based channel, how does it relate to traveling? Well, you have to understand that languages can differ and they have their own dialects and sometimes their own accents or pigeons or creoles and those creoles, those languages, those dialects, whatever you want to call them, are formed out of people's experiences, their culture, the background, the history. And because 
history is being made every single day. Every single person's culture is different, even within the same community. I'm trying to say that you should just take that into account. Take into account that people are more complicated than we make them out to be. Yes, we are all humans. We are all technically the same in that regard, but we're also so different. Just like how dialects and languages are so different yet so similar, so too are we humans. But hey, that's just my opinion on this subject matter. I'd love to know what you guys think. What do you guys think the definition of dialects and accents are? And what do you guys think of all these different terms? And uh, what do you, do you guys speak with certain types of accents? What are your experiences? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos every week. All of my social media links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, will be down in the description below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, go explorers! <coughs>